sure. What the fuck? Mmm, pick up the damn phone. I know she's just going to hang out with some dude. Nope. I'm sure Daddy will be here soon, okay? I'm going to call him again. Answer. Answer. Oh, pick up. Where is he? Yeah, what's up? Where are you? Are you coming? Yo, calm down and stop calling my phone. I'm busy anyway. What's your problem? You said you were taking the kids go-karting at 11. It's 1.15. Are you kidding me? Look, I'm the one busy working trying to provide for these kids. Why are you always nagging me? Stop being so damn controlling. You know what? Don't even bother. It's fine. Okay. Daddy got busy at work today, guys. So why don't we do something fun? So that right there is a clear example of how a narcissist or a toxic person will use the kids as leverage against you. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So in a narcissistic person's mind, in a narcissist's mind, like having kids by them, it means forever access to you. It means you have to pick up the phone when they want you to pick up the phone. It means they have to, you, you have to bring the kids when they want you to bring the kids. It means they can show up when they want to show up or they can choose not to show up. They will use the kids to try to control your time and your schedule and things like that. Because if you go back to the beginning of the skit, he's like, oh, she's probably, she's not picking the phone up because she's probably talking to some guy. Narcissistic people will hyper focus on things like that. Like you're trying to replace them in your life. Like you have another man or another woman waiting, you know, you need them to pick the kids up for like you need them to pick the kids up and whatnot so you can go hang out with another man or a woman and they will have nothing none of that they will either not show up or show up extremely late sometimes without warning they like he said it's just like oh without blowing my phone up like I'm, I'm trying to work and take care of these kids you're not doing nothing but you know sitting on your ass and whatnot so if you don't have kids by a narcissistic person now if you think you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person and you don't have kids yo you can escape now you should try to escape now because I swear to you, narcissistic people see those kids as access keys to you. They are access to you and they feel like they're entitled to your time, your love, your body, everything. And some people who hyper focus on it, think you're like leaving them or you're trying to replace them. They will get dangerous. Y'all. Some, some of them can get very, very violent. So you have to protect yourself. You see at the end how the mom was telling the kids like how she tried to keep it positive. The dad wouldn't do that. The narcissistic person would not do that. They would try to make it paint, paint the other parent as a terrible person. I was going to try to come get y'all, but mama was ignoring me. The stupid mama don't want me to have a relationship with y'all. Hope this helps y'all for real.